a lot of people have been having a, a try with growing canola and um, I guess new growers need to make certain they do everything right just to get that crop establishment. Seeding rates with canola, we used to say five kilograms per hectare because that was like the farmer proof seeding rate and that sort of covered a multitude of sins including um, insect pests at the time. But now basically in many instances you can come down as low as two to three kilograms per hectare with, with no major problems at getting, so long as you do everything else right, that's plenty of plants to get a decent canola crop. Seeding depth in canola is, is, has always been regarded as a very important issue because it's such a small seed. We used to sow our canola at about one centimetre deep or so. What we've seen, and there's a little bit of work being done in New South Wales recently as well, where if moisture's a little bit iffy and you have to sow your, your seed down at say three centimetres or even a touch more than that, and soil temperature is still quite warm, I'm not as worried now as I would have been in years gone by about trying to get the, the seed out of the ground. So if you have to chase moisture, you can sneak the seed down a little bit deeper than we used to. If you're putting out anything more than about 10 kilograms of nitrogen, it really needs to be banded away from the seed, so to the side or down below the seed. Or the alternative is that you put your nitrogen out um, pre-sowing and it gets incorporated by, by the sowing operation. Anything that keeps that nitrogen away from close proximity with the seed is, is really important. As we're growing more and more canola, we're finding more and more insect pests and other pests having a, having a go at our canola crops. Mandalotus weevil is one now in our lower rainfall areas that uh, we're having problems with. Uh, millipedes, European earwigs are all issues that we never used to see. In the old days it was red-legged earth mite and loosen flea and that was it. And we've got them pretty well under control, but it's these other pests that really are causing us issues. And certainly in the high rainfall districts, slugs are another major issue that uh, are causing losses to canola crops. You can't afford to just look at your canola crop from 110 kilometres an hour in your ute. You have to get out and inspect the crop as it's coming up and at that early stages of development to make certain you're not having insects having a really good chew at your crop. A canola crop does compensate incredibly well, but the more patchy it is at establishment, the more difficult it comes to when you work out wind rowing time and all those factors. So if you can establish canola, you're 80% of the way there to having a reasonable crop. I think on the GRDC website, there's a um, canola best management practice guide that we put together about two years ago, um, which is a booklet that's got a lot of information about growing canola. Uh, the Australian Oil Seeds Federation has got some information on um, canola as well. So there is a lot of information around the place that you can chase up um, and help you uh, not only choose varieties, but also look at a whole range of factors. And as I've said, establishment is one of the critical things with growing canola. So you just have to really concentrate on getting that right.